My father told me that they once called us the giant of Africa. And my father is not a lying man. But I don't know if I believe him anymore. Because nothing around me feels like the home of a giant. Ever increasing electricity tariffs, yet we generate our own power. We pay for roadworthiness on roads that are not worthy of our cars. We have a land blessed with so many natural resources, yet we import everything, even to speak. So many graduates, but no jobs. Our children will risk dying in the desert far away from home in search of green pastures because anything is better than staying at home and facing the hardship and insecurity that has become our existence. The Nigerian problem is the economy. Because people don't have means of livelihood, you push them into criminality. But I hear the sound of hope in the horizon because Nigeria is in labor. And this is the hour to band together from the north, east, south, and west and push for the rebirth of the giant of Africa. Vote PTOB for president. Hello, welcome to another edition of... Uh... UK chapter, uh, talking about Labour Party, a program where we tend to be talking to the executive of uh, Labour Party UK chapter. Uh, today on the program, we'll be talking to the Edo uh, State, Edo uh, State uh, Coordinator, Mr. Pascal, and I'm, I'm, I'm privileged to have you on the on the platform, Labour Party UK chapter media department. How are you doing? Fine, thank you. Good evening, Mr. Fre uh, Wilfred Adams. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So where exactly are you in the UK? And I see you are with somebody there. Yeah, with me here is my deputy uh, chairman for Edo State. It's my name is Peter Ikoza. We are here together today on this platform to address the people of our state and the program we are arranging to promote uh, our uh, what is the event that is coming in February for the election and how we have to harmonize, mobilize our people at home. So now we are here today, we are a colleague from Southeast London, and we are having this platform to be able to address and encourage our fellow Nigerians in UK to come and support us to respond our support, through our support group to mobilize people at home that are helping for the movement of obedience. And they have a lot of assignment, a lot of interior areas, the logistic, going to the marketplace, the beer parlor, and the work offices, the church and the mosque. So they need a lot of uh, miscellaneous expenses. The only way we can help to make an impact is for us to come together as adult citizens and our well wishers and friends to come together to raise funds through our support group to enhance the successful accomplishment of that D day. We are really hoping that in this season, we need a change in Nigeria. We can understand what we are going through in that country. But Obi, Peter Obi and Yusuf Dati, they are like God sent to us. We can't miss this opportunity. We have to grab it at all costs. By at all costs, God helping us. So this is a time that we need the country to be revigorized, restructured, to be uh, revamped again through these people that they are competent enough and they have the qualities and they have the vision and they are transparent. And this is what we need this time. We need somebody like them who have this quality to bring liberation, freedom, liberty, pull of equity, empowerment, employability to the people of Nigeria. People are suffering in Nigeria. Then to even have a square meal is a problem. So this is why we can do all we take, make our related efforts to come together to support this movement to empower and make sure that we we'll come into power with uh, Joseph Dante. Thank you very much. And um, yeah. I see that you have uh, your colleague there. Can you meet, can we meet you? Can you, what's your take on uh, uh, Chama's uh, coordinator's uh, remarks? Yes, um, with the Nigerians and uh, to be specific from uh, those states, uh, we are here to support uh, 
uh, the purpose of uh, Peter will be obedient to make sure uh, uh, we mobilize our people back at home, uh, telling them what they are supposed to know, that this time uh, we should hold the home by the bull and uh, not people coming to deceive us as uh, before. Uh, that uh, bear in mind uh, the party manifesto that uh, uh, we, uh, the, the, we, the supporters of P2B and uh, for P2B movement, that we have a manifesto and uh, to let people know what we are supposed to know, the purpose for which OB is coming there to liberate people, to create wealth, um, and so many things which uh, our people have lacked before and they've deceived us so much uh, in time in memoriam. Now, this is a time for change and uh, this is what we are after. I want this purpose to be fulfilled by coming out uh, uh, this February to cast a vote, make sure we have all the necessary things and uh, the resources uh, it takes uh, to uh, say this is our right by uh, going for your PVC, which speaks for you. And on that day, every person should go there without fear or favor that will be intimidated. They will go there to exercise our right to make sure and um, the truth come to um, limelight. Thank you very Fantastic. much. Fantastic. Thank you very much, both of you. And I've, I know that you're executive and uh, you've got your... I've seen somebody in the studio. Let me bring the person in. It's in the car. Um, hello. I think it's Lawrence. Lawrence is uh, so part of your executive, I'm sure. Yes, our secretary. Secretary. Okay, secretary, it's good to have you uh, on the yeah. program. Uh, we're basically... You know, talking about Peter Obi, talking about your uh, 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 state, talking about those states, and the work you are doing for Obidati. Can you give us a short uh, summary of the activities that you've been engaging on? Right. Good afternoon. Uh, my name is Lawrence Anthony Agume. Yes, um, it's been a journey, and um, I've always canvassed for uh, a, a good, uh, you know, president in Nigeria. We always dream of it. We've always hope and wished for it but one comment i was uh, i was about to make um last time but i didn't have the opportunity we had a meeting I think yesterday um is um what some of these pdp and ac says about uh, the labor movement that they don't really have what it takes to be the president or to rule nigeria and the reason is what we are doing now to help mobilize the grassroots the populace and the nigerian you know uh people in general because what they what they are saying um uh, effectively is that we have not been on the ground it's a new party they don't have that apparatus to win an election but we want to prove them wrong that nigeria has i mean it's up to our neck it's up to our nose we want to prove them wrong that no nigerians have said enough is enough in whatever way we can help we are mobilizing the nigerian people to tell them the truth it's not about taking uh, two cups of rice and 10,000 naira or whatever. No, that time has passed. This is good governance. Just to bring basic amenities. These people, they come to Europe. They see what is in what is in Europe. Why can't they do replicate something in Nigeria? I, I find it difficult to understand. So our movement is just to mobilize the people, tell them the truth. People should come and go at those days. They won't sit down. I'm not voting. If I vote, it doesn't even make uh, any difference. You know, it, with my vote count. So we want to try and let them know it will, it will count this time. You know, and um, let everybody come together. Whatever we can lift as a people, it will be light for everybody to lift. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, Secretary, talking about Lawrence. Uh, we'll go back again to the state coordinator of those state, Mr. Pascal. Please, can you summarize uh, your member of um, team? I think uh, what are the offices they occupy and what is your plan as we round up on this short uh, exclusive with you and, of course, your team? Yeah, like I've said before, um, I'm here with my deputy uh, coordinator, a person of uh, Peter Ikoza, and who is very committed to the wish and the will and the intent of us coming into power as the national ruler of Nigeria that the uh, Nigerian Labour Party will come and rule Nigeria and we are having uh, Peter Ubi as our aspiring president with his deputy Yusuf Dati and we are all very committed with Lawrence, we have just spoken, that commitment is there 
and with the commitment we are coming together with the strategy of modus of Prondi of raising funds to push and mobilize people at home there for in traveling, in coordinating in most of the equipment, things they need, the water, everything they, that will facilitate the enhancement and success for, of that uh, mobilizing and monitoring of that election. This is what we have come together to raise funds and we are going to plan and to see how it goes around uh, intermittently between now and that February. We are not giving up. This is what we continue to do. We are ready to support at all costs those people at home. Since we are here and they are there, even though we are not at home, all those are aware, which has our family, our villages, people in the Bear Palo, and all those things, all the agents, police agents, we are here to mobilize them, we want to have their back, we want to encourage them that they should not give up. Any other way we can resuscitate them, we are going to do it. So we are also, as we executive here, we are working with other stakeholders of a Labour Party in this nation, and our UK chairman is solidly behind us with other state coordinators. We are working hand in hand. There is proper coordination coming from him, and we are all cooperating together. And with this force, we shall be able to make uh, a serious impact. God helping us. Amen. Thank you very much. That's a very nice summary. I uh, want to uh, thank you all for coming on the platform on Labour Party UK uh, Chapter Media Department. So let's keep up the engagement and I wish you all all the best. Thank, thank you. you. Thank very you very much. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you.